Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Thursday, August 8th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. First quarter moon, Monday, August 12th. So, yeah, see something nice in the evening sky if you go out for a walk. Sunspots are still going very crazy on the sun, more in the southern hemisphere of the sun at this time, facing Earth. But, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a big activity, and we're getting um, some CMEs hitting Earth just about every day. Looking at drought conditions from a couple weeks ago to now, uh, definitely worse, worsening drought statewide. We have from Longmont South, extreme drought. First time we have had that sneak back in in a long time. Uh, just the past few days we've had uh, pretty heavy rains. Uh, I bet that gets knocked back nicely. So nationwide, same thing. Intermountain West and Northwest getting a little drier. Um, have very dry conditions in Northern Virginia, West Virginia, with that tropical system. W, I think it is coming up. That may take care of that too. Let's put uh, smoke into motion here. <coughs> it has lots of fires out on the West Coast and Northwest. You can see that the boundary between the heavy smoke and the not so bad is right along the Wyoming border and sometimes surges down a little bit just the next few days of smoke but uh, yeah so there's gonna be a haze out there and that's not local fires at this time for precipitation uh, this does not count Wednesday's uh, rain it takes them a while to put that in there and then um, yeah so We'll see that next week. Lots of water. We got a quarter inch, third inch or so in Longmont from uh, that brief hit. Looking at the climatology of severe weather expectations going through the summer, third week of August, it's starting to really drop off uh, nationwide. We are still in the second category of you know hail like that, and we certainly can see that. Uh, in actuality, for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just general thunderstorms. Uh, severe stuff is not really expected, so not even a marginal risk. Uh, heavy rains, though, south of Longmont on Thursday. Heavy rain south of Longmont on Friday. And for Saturday, just general thunderstorm chances. Really good chances of rain here at the beginning. Thursday and Friday, drizzle going into rain, heavy rain on Friday. Normal highs are dropping a couple degrees to 87. Normal lows just a degree down to 58. Uh, for moisture, we can see pretty good amounts of water in the water vapor satellite imagery. These green things are thunderstorms. <coughs> Let's put it uh, into motion and watch the upper air pattern first. You can see that the ridge is still here, the thing that's baked us for much of the summer. It does flatten out a little bit as a little ripple comes through, but the ridge you can still see is still more in the west, midwest. The high center is down here over Louisiana. You see the closed circles, air going in a circle, then that kind of moves back towards Colorado. And by end of next week, we have a good ridge over us with the center kind of reforming just south of us. That does give us north winds, so that may keep some temperatures off. There is a tropical system swooping by the east coast does not look like it'll hit land. I don't think it's even named yet. And looking at this is all the cool air from our cold front on Wednesday. A pretty strong batch of, of cool air coming down into the nation. It erodes a little bit, pushes off to the east. You can see the ridge is going to try to bring that heat back and you can see the afternoon blobs right there of uh, thunderstorms cooling the air right there. <coughs> and then the cool air overnight, and then it warms up the next day, and then thunderstorms again. We really have a chance of precipitation almost every day because the moisture is definitely back. Let's look at that moisture, precipitatable water animation. You can see abnormally high amounts of moisture uh, in the near term. You've got low forms and it goes by. And then by middle of next week, it actually increases. Oops. Well, well look at surface then. All right, that's what it wants to do. 
These are pretty high dew points, 50s. Occasionally it drops into the upper 40s, mid 40s, around the front range, I-25 corridor, but then the 50 dew points come back with 60 dew points just out on the plains a little bit further, and they n never really goes away. So the moisture is here. If anything comes along in the upper atmosphere to kick that off, or another front pushes down, we will get more uh, thunderstorm activity. Here we are getting into next weekend, and yeah, moisture is... The Great Plains moisture train is still going. There goes that system way out in the Atlantic. Looking at actual future radar, you can see into Thursday and then into Friday, widespread rain and thunderstorms almost every day, starting in the mountains, sweeping on out. Here we are going into Monday noon, Monday afternoon, lots of stormy activity. Then the next day, there's a little bit of break uh, around Wednesday, Thursday, and then the storms start to come back uh, by the end of the week. So much better keep the rain coming and keep fires from happening. Over the next five days, some moisture up here in the uh, northern I-25 area, good amount of rain out on the plains and in the southwest. Add in another five days and everything gets a little wetter. So, yeah. Maybe that's it. We dodged a bad fire season this year with the return of moisture. So very cool Thursday and Friday. Still below normal on Saturday, up to normal on Sunday, and then not far from normal in into the middle of next week with varying chances of precipitation each day. So this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.